What's up fam? How are we doing today? Today we're at the Wine Guards Steak Fry and Open House. Check this out. Walk into the park a lot here. It is packed out, man. Raining right now, uh, which is kind of crummy, but probably good for these guys to be honest with you because then more people have the opportunity to come on in here and no excuse because it's not like you're doing cleanups today, right? The annual steak fry tradition, I wonder how fat, far back it actually goes, but I think these guys serve about 700 or 800 steaks per location Monday through Friday at a couple different locations here at Weingart. Hey. So, whoops, sorry girl. Excuse me. All right, let's go hop inside. Let's go check it out. Hope everybody's here and let's go see uh, how the steaks are looking this year. All right, so here we go. Packed out, man. All right, guys, so hopping in here. What up, Brian? What up? You all right? Yeah. Dude, Wine Guards 2024, man. Steak fry. You doing good? First time. I'm like acting <laughs> like we just saw each other on video. We've been talking for 45 minutes with everybody. I uh, saw uh, Dave Fox, who built with my builder, uh, Mike Miller. He was asking me, he's like, how you doing, man? He goes, you stressing out? I go, we're over budget. He just built two years ago and it's the way of the beast. Um, we saw Dan Weingart, it's always good to catch up with Dan. Uh, it's a really good time and then, you want to go get some steak, have you ate yet? No, I haven't. You have not ate yet, okay. Um, what do you think about the show? We, uh, we got two mowers coming, they're here, but they didn't have time to uh, unbox them. So we're well, gonna let's pick go them up. Let's go unbox them. I know, right? Right now, let's, let's go. Monday, let's go. Monday. <laughs> Monday they're available, but Monday we're probably doing cleanups. So we'll get them maybe Thursday or Friday next week. Um, a lot going on. Yeah. You want to go look at some equipment? Uh, I've, I've looked at a few things. Um, okay, let's do I'm this. really excited for the 72. Let's go look at the 72 right yeah. now. This right here is what's coming. Uh, I got to show you guys this. We have a 60X series and a 72 X series coming in. Check that out. Uh, we partnered up with X Smart. One of the mowers is ours uh, that they're gifting us. The other one is one that we're purchasing. The 72 is a monster. I just love this thing. Go ahead, what's up? Do we tell them that this is what we saw in that video in the trailer that one night? Where you oh, were like, yeah, I, yeah. Got the, I, got, I got a sneak preview, but it can't go on camera. <laughs> That's before, I had a month long embargo, and I couldn't share about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is the one we're getting for our commercial sites. Uh, you know the Novite, larger site? Don't say the name, uh, but hopefully we get that again. Mm -hmm. Put this on there, and then the other two on... Um, That'd be so much better. The other two in Wix them next to each other. Get two people trimming it, and then there's just this going. Dude, That's gonna be so much easier. You could have a whole other 20% some productivity on this yeah. mower, yeah. Um, being a 72. So anyway, here's the uh, side shot. And for anybody that always says, hey Fullerton, all you do is talk about X mark. Well, for good reason. Ryan, what do you see up here? X mark. I, I X mark. There's no other this, choice here. Like this section, X mark. That X section, mark. everything else. <laughs> it's X mark. And there's a little bit of cub cadet, but like not really. So if you don't like X mark, sorry, probably not the channel for you. Um, but that's all we get around here, in a good way. I'm, I'm glad because yeah. it's like the Cadillac of mowers. So uh, anyway, let me give you guys one more sh shot of that 72. And anybody wondering the price? 16,999. <clears throat> there you go. What's that? What's that? I'll get the features. Here you go. If you guys want to see all the features Ryan was saying. There you go. And you know, you get a unit or two, you get fleet, not too awful. Uh, save 10 or 15%, I'm sure. Um, one thing I was going to show you guys, I have a video coming down the pike. I went to Kawasaki's uh, engine plant. They've got the Evo, all these uh, EFI. This is the FX1000V. I think 37 and a half horsepower. So this thing is gonna purr. What do you think? There's a lot of things that everyone is uh, is really happy about. I know, and I can't speak for him, but I know Rob's really happy about the trash can. The trash bin? Yep. It's the little I'm, things. I'm happy with how light this is. Is it light? It's it's so much lighter than what we have right now. All right. And um, what was the other one? Uh, double double gas cans. Double, double gas, gas tanks. Big big gas tanks. Yeah. Big wheels too. Yeah. So we can finally start hopping some curbs. <laughs> uh, I'll show you. Here's an X-Series, by the way. So this is the other unit that we have. Uh, this is a... Is this a 60? 60. Yeah. Okay. So 16.5. And you guys can see this is the X-Series that we're picking up. And I have a bagger and track just coming for this one. That's not... Uh, that's why it's not available just yet, because that is still coming in. they got to build it. I don't think they had time to build it because of the uh, steak fry. So there you go. So this is getting the bagger? Uh, this is getting a bagger. Yeah. Yep. Because we're moving to stand-on baggers. So uh, where does the bagger go on the front? No, it'll go on the side like the multi-force. Uh, it'll come over here. 
Yeah. And where does the where does the tank? Is this right here? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm not sure. It might go behind you even. That's what I'm saying. But I, yeah. but, but I think it goes to the side. Yeah. I'm 90 percent sure it goes to the side. So there you go. Here is a Ultra Cut 52. You guys can see that. And then here, this is the one that we have. This is our S series. We have 1200. 1250 hours on that, so that'll be our third mower, kind of our backup. What was the question? I said, then we can start getting into residentials, right? Uh, no, these are all these are all commercials. These are all commercials? Yeah, they're all commercial units. Show um, how much I know. <laughs> I don't think they have any residential units from Xmark over here, but that's like the Quest and uh, oh, okay. the Radius. Radi Radius is over. Radius over there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're here in the back side of the warehouse. Hey. I wish that they could smell how this smells right now. You wish that they could smell? Oh, it smells so we good. We don't have a smell uh, smell camp sniff test. <laughs> we got steaks, man. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys. So we're stuffing our face full of steak. Uh, we got some good uh, strip steak here. I tried to just... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wonderful. We got some familiar faces on the channel. Asher Beersdorf, how you doing? Doing great. How are you? Good, man. Gardening guy, tell them about yourself. How's business? Business is booming, starting yeah. for the season. Got a lot of big jobs in the works. A um, lot of lot of heavy equipment, tree jobs. I mean, you name it, we're doing it. There you go. We're getting it done. How, yeah. old, are you, how old are you now? I'll be 20 in 20. Uh, September. There you go. 19, 19 right now. Yeah, you gotta think about oh, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, think about it sometimes. This is your right hand man, Tyler. Right hand man, Tyler Burke over here. Tyler, right. how you doing, bud? Dude, doing great. We're ready what, for the what's good your season. Favorite, what's your favorite machine to operate? I'm big on the L28 or the E10. Okay. Like doing one of those. One of those, Asher. Uh, Bobcat Mini and Bobcat Articulating Loader. Oh yeah, you got that articulating one. Yep. That's right. How's that thing going? Oh, love it. We just rolled, I think, 210 hours on it yesterday, actually. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. How long have you had it? A year? Under a year. Oh no, my god. Yesterday, it was last season. It was the first season we had it. Yeah. Dude, it's, that's awesome. It's pretty new. Oh yeah. Yep. Mr. Gabe. How's it going? Pull right. How we doing, bud? Doing good. How are you? Good. You ready to get back out there? Oh, I'm ready. I'm I'm chomping at the bit to get out there and start doing some work. What uh What are you focusing on this year? Like, if are you growing? Are you uh oh, getting yeah, into different skills or what? Definitely growing. Maybe trying to start up two crews. Um, you know, lawn care, landscaping, same old. Do some more irrigation, but. There you go. Yep. Heck yeah, man. Yep. Ryan, what are we doing here? We're eating steak. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, so one of the cool things about coming to the dealer open house, you get sometimes 10% off and 20% off deals. There's a bunch of stuff that I'm looking at with Red Max or Echo because we got to uh, stock up the new enclosed trailer. So we might run some 260 TS. I think they have a new model out here, by the way. The 3060, I think, maybe. So that could be it. Or... Maybe something like this. By the way, anybody know if we have a, a new leaf blower coming out? I've been hearing some uh, speculation that Red Max has a new leaf blower. The 9,000 or 10,000. Uh, somebody sent me some uh, photo spec sheets. I'm like, I don't know if we're supposed to see those just yet. Uh, but it sounds like there might be uh, a new leaf blower coming out. I have no idea when or what. Uh, if I do find out, I'll let you guys know. But if you have any leads, leave me a comment, would you? Um, all right, let me keep going, see what else is on the floor. Mr. Aaron, how we doing? How's it I gotta be? get you on. It's uh, it's our annual tradition. How's the show? Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Great good, turnout. Good turnout. Yes, sir. More or uh, less than last year? More, definitely. Really? Yeah. Okay. How many stakes? That everybody wants to know. Right now, so about 3:35. We're. I don't know if I can tell you this. It's a little bit of like top secret information. Top secret here. info. Maybe. No, it's a 500. Exactly 766 as of this moment. No way, for real? Yeah. Holy Jesus, that's up. <laughs> that is. Dude, that's awesome. All right, man. Hey, if you guys need any uh, equipment, leaf blowers, mowers, trailers, blowers, whatever, right? Absolutely. They got you. Aaron at Wangerts.com. There you go, <laughs> whatever. A-A-R-O-N. A-A-R-O-N, A-A-R-O-N, there you go. All right, see you, bud. One thing here I was gonna show you guys, and I was talking about this. Uh, we've got the P2000 leaf blower. Sometime, I don't know if we'll do it this spring, but probably by fall, I'd like to upgrade either to the X or the Z3000. I'm thinking the X3000 because it's got that front discharge for the leaf blow um, at 13 grand. 15.5, geez, oh, Pete, it's another 2,500 bucks or whatever it is, right? So it just never ends. But we might sell this off. Gosh, I bought mine for 8,200. Now it's 99.99. That's wild. So maybe we'll get uh, this sold. Facebook Marketplace, seven, eight, nine grand. We'll see what we can get, and then we can roll that up into this. Uh, more power, and then also that front discharge. It's really uh, helpful with parking lots and fence lines blowing out those leaves. So something that we're looking at 
as we grow the company as well. By the way, here's the Xmark Aerator, the 30 inch unit. Uh, if anybody wants to buy mine, I have it on sale right now for seven grand. We got 200 hours, brand new, 13.5. So if anybody uh, wants to stand an aerator, it works great. We just haven't been doing as many aerations. Uh, shoot me an email, I'll sell it to you and you can pick it up in uh, Wix, Michigan. Hey, there you go. I was wondering where you went, Air. How we doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. I called you Aaron. Aaron's up front. Yeah. I just saw Aaron. How you doing? He's better looking than me. Whatever, dude. How you been? Got my Starbucks. It was first cup, second cup? Uh, I don't know. My wife sent it to me. Your wife sent you? Yeah. She door dashed you? I did not even thank her. I said, how much did you pay for this? <laughs> dude. That's like... Probably, <laughs> and then I thanked her. That's probably $19. I was going to say, it's good. It's good though. <laughs> it better be good for 20 bucks. Yeah. How's the show? Amazing. Good? Yeah. Uh, I think an hour ago, we were at like 735 steaks. That's up. Five from last year, we're two and a half hours from closing. Yeah, you still got plenty of time. Yeah. Everybody's gonna get off work here another hour. <laughs> Plus repeat offenders, you're gonna get another one, aren't you? No, 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 I'm a one and done kind of guy. Good. But I know there's guys that go there two or three times. Perfect. Is that you? No. No, no, you can't have steak breath while drinking your coffee. No, I'm gonna smell like steak for two weeks after this. <laughs> That's right. Um, talk you? to me real quick, how's the business, how's you know, Xmark, how's the wine guards, how's the show, how's everybody good, doing? Fabulous. Yeah, it's been early. Yeah. Early, early. I mean, we had no winter. <laughs> right. You know, winter kind of really was a drag for us, but um, yeah, early spring. Um, this People's machine right here has been kind of the, the talk of the show for the last couple of weeks in terms of the powerhouse, man. Yeah. 72 inch stand on with X series laser hydros and you know 38 horse EFI Cowie. Yeah. It's a beautiful machine. I'm gonna put ours to the test. I'm gonna say yours are yours are stacked in the back, man. Let's go. Yeah. Next week. I got some mud on them last yesterday. Did you? Yeah, driving them. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I'll pick them up. Uh... I gotta get your bagger still. Yeah. So I don't have the ultra back and I don't have the tractors for them yet. So if you want bare machines, I can do that. But you I need baggers. I know. What do you need another week or two? Uh, it's coming for Max Mark. I'm hearing like April. That's fine. That's fine. We got the Z. I know. But let me know when you want me to pick them up. I'll get it together. Whatever. I'll, I know you I'll, I'll bring them down to your compound. Bring them over. Give me a tour. Oh, dude, I got you, bro. Thank you. We got the pallet racking. We'll, we'll show everything. Good deal. All right, man. See you around. All right, guys. Well, I had to make it a short and sweet trip. I got to get back to the house. We're actually running a uh, live stream tonight. Oh, we got some equipment going. On the mower. I have no idea if that last clip of audio came through, but um, got to pack this all up. Um, got to head back to the house, give a little, a little bit of a break on the kids, and then get dinner situated, and then hanging out with Mark Bradley for a live stream. Actually, this video would probably be posting after that. So if you guys did not see the live stream, I invite you guys to check out probably the most recent video and. See that two hour live stream we did talking about LMN and uh, our account and how we're looking to grow Brian's All Maintenance, right? So, all right, well that's what I got for you guys in today's video. Hopefully it was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just coming out here, it's like, there's two smells that I associate with the spring rush. Number one is fret cut, cut grass, but number two is Weingart steak, right? They're Weingart steak fries, so. Like Alex, that will probably smell like steak for the next two weeks, but that's okay. All right, over and out guys. You guys have a beautiful day. This rain is just nasty. Talk about a transition since yesterday's 72 degrees and sunny. Anyway, that's it. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one. Bye.